Hello. I'm Jack. Hello. My name is Anne. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. So, this is the house? It's really beautiful. Yes, it is. But it's very difficult to keep clean. Sorry. Not a good start. Don't worry. Your accent is very clear. Where are you from? I'm from Oxford. Wow, Oxford. 100% English. Yes, and you're American. Is that right? Yes, but my family is from Italy. Bologna. Oh, Italy is wonderful. My sister is in Italy at the moment. Where? She's in Rome, studying Italian painters. She's really happy. Italians are so friendly. Oh, that's Alice. Hi. She is also part of the family. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Alice. So, this is Jack, the new flatmate? Yes. Nice to meet you, Jack. I'm from Sydney, in Australia. And you are a Capricorn. Yes, amazing. I come from America. I'm from New York. Wow, the Big Apple. Yes. Okay, um, can I put my things in the bedroom? Let me help you. Hey, this is nice. I'm glad you like it. It's a Mexican hat. You look great. But look at this. A bottle of Italian wine. Do you like wine? Cheers! Mmm. This wine is very good. Mmm. Yes, it's really good. Um, by the way, you are very lucky. Look, it's raining now. Yes, I am lucky. Um, that's my photo album there. The pictures of all my friends are here. Oh, that's interesting. Show me. So, this is Mary. She's from Ireland. Her mother and father are Greek. Her parents are from Greece? Yes, they are Greek. They're from Athens. Oh, and who's that? That's Alice! No. That's not Alice. Yes, it is. After a party. A Halloween party. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. And, oh, and who are they? That's Sharon and Peter. They live in the flat near here. They're good friends. She's very pretty. Um, yes. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jack. I'm a new flatmate. It's nice to meet you. Hello, Jack. I'm Peter Nash. And Sharon? Okay, and this is Sharon. Uh, it's a pleasure. How are you, Sharon? Fine, thanks. Oh, good! You're friends! Anne, you are a great cook. Thank you, Jack. I have a form I need to fill in. Can you help me? Of course, but... What form? Finally, I have all the points, and I can get that marvelous set of Chinese 
plates. Oh, congrats! All right, let me see the questions. What's your name? Are you joking? <laughs> okay, okay. A N N E. And what's your family name? My surname. Yes. Right, Baxter. B A X T E R. And what's your phone number? It's O four five four seven eight six two O nine seven. O four five four seven eight eight two O nine seven. No, it's o four five four seven eight six two o nine seven. Right. You have to remember, this is your telephone number two. You're right. Are you married? No, I'm single. A pretty girl like you is still single. Yes. For the moment, I'm single. Next question, please. Where are you from? There are a lot of questions. It's for your Chinese plates. Okay. For the last time, I'm from England, from Oxford. A X F O R D. No. O X F O R D. Just joking. It's okay. What's next? Just two more questions. The address is forty-five Trinity Lane, Flat C. What's the postcode? E C one four R N. E C one. Four R N, and what's your job? I'm an employee of a publishing company. Oh, you are just the right person for me. I have a great love story to write. I always go shopping on Saturdays. The first thing I do on Saturday is to drive to the supermarket. I sometimes go shopping on Saturdays, but usually I sleep late. I'm always so tired on Saturdays. I'm never tired at the weekend. The weekend is the time for fun. I paint, go jogging, go out with some friends. Unfortunately, I sometimes have to study. Oh, I sometimes do a little work at the weekend. When I'm free, I like going swimming, going to exhibitions or to concerts if I have enough money. Oh, and every Sunday, I clean up the entire flat, and in the evening, I watch TV. Oh. I never watch TV. It's so boring. Peter and I like going to the cinema on the weekend. Yes, it's important not to watch too much TV. An hour a day or so. That's enough. Come on, guys. You talk like my grandfather. Work, TV, housework on the weekends. Life is more. I want you to take me to places where young people have fun. Great. Get ready, Grandpa. Work is so hard, guys. I wake up at six thirty every day, have breakfast, and take the train to work every day. I know. I get up at seven, but. I have a friend at work who usually gets up at six. 
Why? That's too early. It takes him an hour to drive to work. Wow, that's a long drive. Yes, but he lives in the country. I think he's lucky. Every weekend he can go for walks in the woods, not in traffic jams. I guess that's pretty nice. He lives in the countryside but works in the city. Pretty nice combination. And what about you, Sharon? What time do you wake up? I usually get up at about nine o'clock. But I live in the city. It's easy to get to work. Yeah, but you get home very late, often at six thirty or seven. You know, I sometimes have five or six groups of tourists a day. You work too much, my dear, and you sing too much, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, I bet you don't wake up at six o'clock every day. Tell us something about your typical day at university. Well, I sometimes have classes in the morning, but I usually have classes in the afternoon. On Mondays, I always attend lectures in the morning. And where do you study? I usually study in the library, but I sometimes study at home too, when I don't have classes in the morning. My friend David also studies at your university. Do you remember him? David Leary. Yes. I occasionally see him in the library, and sometimes in the park. In the park, doing what? He likes studying there. He takes his books, finds a nice park bench, and reads there. Not a bad idea. You can study and enjoy nature at the same time. Yes, I like the park too. Unfortunately, I often need books that are in the library. And what about lunch? Do you usually make sandwiches and take them with you? Oh no, I hate cooking. I usually have lunch in the cafeteria with friends. Oh, I do just the opposite. I usually cook lunch at home. I seldom have a quick lunch at coffee shops. Okay, guys, stop with this boring talk. What about fun? Do any of you do anything besides working and studying? It's Saturday, remember? You're right, Jack. I'm so happy it's Saturday. Me too. It's weekend time. Time for shopping. Hi, Sharon. Have a seat. Thanks, Anne. It's almost ready. What's for brunch? Oh no, pasta. You can't cook pasta. I'm trying to lose weight. Relax, dear. It's Sunday. Here, try some. What about salt? Good. I guess I can eat it this time. The salt is okay. Do you like cooking? Why don't you cook lunch for us sometime? Oh, I love cooking. But it takes time, and I can't cook every day. Well, cooking is not my favorite hobby, but I'm the only one who knows how to cook in this flat. I can imagine. I really love baking cakes. Um. Oh, that's true. I remember now, and I love your cakes. Thanks, Anne. But cooking isn't my only hobby. 
I love going to the cinema and reading as well. I love being busy, so I don't have time to think too much. Think about what? About what's missing in my life. But let's talk about something else. So, if you like movies, there's a good film at the cinema tonight. How about going together? It's a good idea. Let's ask Jack, too. Hey, Jack! Good morning! Look at this picture of Beck Nicholson windsurfing. I know him. Can you windsurf? Yeah, I'm not great, but I can windsurf a little. I like windsurfing in the summer holidays. And what about you? No, I'm afraid I can't. But I can swim pretty well. It's a great sport. What sports do you like doing? Well, I can play tennis, but I'm not very good at it. Oh, I can play chess very well. Chess? That's not a sport. That's a hobby. <laughs> no, it's a sport. Can you play chess? No, I don't like playing cards, chess, or other table games. So, what do you do during the winter? Oh, I go to the gym. I can play basketball pretty well. I can also do a little karate. That's interesting. I can do a little karate as well. Where do you go? I like going to the karate gym on 14th Street. Oh, interesting. I'm looking for a gym. Why don't we go there together? I'm usually free on Saturdays. Sure. But I never go on Saturday. It's the only day I have time to spend with Sharon. I usually go on Friday afternoons. But now I'm so nervous about my audition that I don't have time for the gym and for Sharon, too. <laughs> She's getting pretty angry. Well, if you want, I can take her out sometime. Oh, Jack, you're such a good friend. Maybe you can help me with my audition, too. All right. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Jack. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, too. Why are you calling me? Well, I'm alone. Anne is out for a business meeting. Yeah, me too. Peter is not at home. Oh, Peter is too? Yes, he's at an audition. He is at an audition? Today? Yes. Well, why don't we have lunch together? When? At home? No. Yeah. Don't be doing anything too fussy, Jack. Yes, something simple. Yes. So, I'm going to your house right now. Okay. Great! Hi, Jack. What's up? Oh, you're here. Um, I'm preparing for lunch. Anne is out and Sharon is coming. Great. I'm hungry. Hi, Jack. Hi. Alice is here. Yeah, she's in her room. 
Sorry about that. I would like to be alone with you, but... You know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Sharon? I'm a cook. What would you like? Why don't you cook some pasta? Sounds good. What kind of pasta do you have? Well, we have macaroni, spaghetti. Let's have lasagna. Mmm, that's too much work. Shall we have spaghetti? Great. Excellent. Spaghetti with meat sauce? Great. And how about having some wine with lunch? It's the middle of the day. I have to work later. Let's just have some mineral water. Fine. Mineral water is good. And what about a salad, too? A nice green salad with tomatoes and onions. Your wish is my command. And about my wish? I want wine. Well, here's some red wine for you. Thanks. And do we have any rolls? No, but there's a loaf of bread. Great, we're set. What's on tonight? Mmm, just a moment. Can you hand me the TV guide? Oh, here you are. What would you like to watch? Let's watch a documentary. Oh, documentaries are so boring. Why don't we watch La Kids? Please. More soap operas? I can't stand soap operas. How about watching the news? Fine. Let's watch the news and then maybe a film. Right. That's a good compromise. Shall we make something to eat? What would you like? How about some sandwiches? Tuna fish sandwiches. Okay. Tuna fish sandwiches. Why don't you go and prepare them all for us? All right. It's my turn now. Why? What do you mean? We had lunch with Sharon today, and Jack was the cook. Oh. What a piece of news. What would you like to drink? Let's have a beer. Great! We've got some good lager in the fridge. TV, sandwiches, and a beer? Paradise. Alice, what are you doing? I'm just relaxing a bit, watching some TV. What's on? I'm watching the news. So, what's happening in the world? The usual. Politicians are trying to pretend they know what they are doing. <laughs> Alice, you are such a skeptic. That's the way I am. What's that? It's a book I'm reading. What's it about? It's a story about a woman, a young woman, who can't stand her father. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's not that bad. Alice, what's wrong? Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm so tired now. I'm going to bed. Good night! What are you doing? I'm connecting to the internet because I need to send an email. Who are you sending an email to? To my boss in America. He needs the weekly report immediately. Why? 
because he has a meeting with the shareholders tomorrow morning. What's happening with the laptop? The internet connection isn't working very well. Sometimes it happens to my computer too. Do you have a suggestion? Usually, Peter lends me his computer. Is Peter at home? No, I think there's only Sharon. Okay, I'm going anyway. Yes, I am listening to you. Yes, I'm listening. Who's she talking to? I don't know. I guess it's her father. Just a moment. What do you want? Nothing. It's four o'clock in the morning. Is everything all right, Alice? It's none of your business. What? Excuse us. Sorry to interrupt. Listen. I know it's late. I'm sorry. But I'm talking to my father. He's in Boston now. It's nine o'clock there. What? What do you want? <laughs> I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> Neither am I. What about eating something? I don't know. I'm not really hungry. I'm going to the internet to chat with a friend in Italy. Would you like to join me? <laughs> Now that I'm not sleeping anymore. Would you like to see him? How? I have pictures of him on my computer. And you know what? He can see you too with the webcam. What? Oh my gosh! No, please. I'm horrible now. No, you're not. And besides, he might be interested. Why? Do you think I need a boyfriend? Fine. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye bye. Oh my God. Okay, guys, don't panic. What? We have to be strong and try to keep calm. What are you talking about? She's coming tomorrow morning. Who, for God's sake? Who? Aunt Mary, the owner of the flat. So what? Your auntie? What's so terrible about her? Let me explain. Imagine me in fifty years. You mean you, old, with your manias, your cleaning obsessions? Oh my God! Okay, okay, don't panic. So, what do we have to do? Let me see. What do you have scheduled for today? Today is a busy day. I have to finish my painting. No way! Painting means brushes, colors, dirt and mess everywhere. As for me, let's check my date book. Date book? I don't believe it. You mean you don't have a PDA? Please, Alice. I have a program on my laptop. I don't need a PDA as well. I'm just surprised. That's all. You are usually highly technological. That's not entirely true. I like to use paper and pen as well. Okay, leave it, guys. Let's go straight to the point. What's on your schedule today? I'm meeting a client from four to five. And then I'm going to the mall. Why are you going to the mall? I want to buy a new modem for my PC. 
A new modem? That's not exactly business. Yes. Well, there's something wrong with mine. Okay. Maybe it's not that important. I can go tomorrow morning. That's very kind of you, Jack. Well, let me see. I've got a list with all your duties here. But what is it? It's always with me. For emergencies, you know? Like this one. Jack! At your order, General. You have to clean up the kitchen. You're washing the dishes, cleaning the oven and the fridge, the burners and the basin. Oh, and finally, you have to sweep and mop the floor. I'm ready. Oh, and obviously, you have to clean your bedroom, too. Sounds exciting. Alice, you have to clean the living room. You have to throw all these magazines out, put all the CDs in order, clean up the carpet, and dust the furniture. Do I have to mop the floor as well? Of course! As for me, I'm cleaning the bathroom and all the windows. Well, I want you both in the living room at half past six for a detailed report, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Neat and clean. Rather stressful, I know. But at last, the flat is perfectly clean. Yes. But now it's us that needs to be cleaned. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Aunt Mary! Everything is ready for your arrival. I'm picking you up at the airport tomorrow at... What? Really? Oh, I understand. What a shame. Oh, no, no. Not a problem at all. I hope you get well soon. Right. Bye-bye. So? What? Aunt Mary isn't coming anymore. She's got a cold. <laughs> hey, guys! I've got the part! But what's happening here? Nothing special. Congratulations, Peter. Can you help me? Have you got a moment, Peter? I've got a problem with my computer. Oh, I don't know very much about computers, and I'm going out. They're waiting for me at the theater. Always busy, eh? Okay, okay, Sharon. Take it easy. Shall we have a look? Thanks, Peter. You've got a big heart. Let's see if I can help before you thank me. All right. I can't use this program. I use it every day, and today it isn't opening. Hmm. Why don't you turn the computer off and then turn it on again? Okay, Peter. That's really a great idea. You are a genius. What would I do without you? I know, my dear. What are you working on? I'm writing my curriculum 
because I would like to find a new job. Listen, Peter. I don't know how to write it. Can you help me, please? I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm in a hurry. I have no time. I'm late. They're waiting for me. Very kind as usual. Listen, Peter. Anne, Alice, and I are going to the cinema this evening. Would you like to come? I'd like to, but I can't. I have to go to the theater. Yes, I know. You always have something else to do. Come on, Sharon. What's the problem? Maybe you are jealous of my career. Oh, Peter, I'm just tired of always coming second. Hi, Anne. Housework, huh? Yes, at last. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, how are you and Peter? We're fine, thanks. Listen, I want to go to that bookshop. Do you remember? Oh yes, the one with lots of photography books. Yeah. And thriller books, yeah. And with the red coffee tables and flowers on the windows, yeah. Where you can sit down and find a delicious hot chocolate, yes. And that's the one. The London Reader. It's a great place. Yes. How do I get there? Is it far? You can walk from here. It's about ten minutes away. Great. Okay. Let's see. Go out the front door and turn left. Easy enough. Go straight ahead, past the traffic light. Right. Straight ahead, past the traffic lights. Turn right into June Lane. June Lane. Follow June Lane to the end of the street, and turn right on May Avenue. Just a moment. Turn left on May Avenue. No, no, no. Turn right onto May Avenue, and the bookshop is. Hi, Sharon. What are you girls talking about? I'm giving Sharon directions for the London Reader. So, turn right onto May Avenue, and the bookshop is the second shop on the left, next to the butcher. No, Anne. Sharon, the bookshop is on the right, past the museum. And between a chemist's and a bank. No, no, Jack, you are wrong. The bookshop is. Okay, okay, guys, be quiet. Don't worry, I've got my map. Hmm, Sharon, I can come with you, if you don't mind. Great, that's very kind of you, Jack. Mm, Jack, housework. Do you remember? Hey, Alice, what are you doing? Do you mind giving us a hand with the housework, please? Can't you see? I'm cleaning the computer. I see. I see. Why is the computer on? Just a moment. I don't understand how to connect to the internet on this computer. Can you help me? Okay, but just for one moment. Thanks, Jack. Okay.
Click on that icon. What's an icon? That symbol on the screen. Do you mean this picture of a telephone? Yes. Click on that. Right. Now what? Enter your username and password. Okay. And click on that button there. Click on that button. And now you are connecting to the internet. Hey, that's easy. It's very easy, Alice. You're hopeless with computers. And with housework, too. Come on, Alice. It's time to clean up this mess now. Jack, where were you yesterday evening? Why? There was a great party at Mary's. Really? I wasn't invited. I can't believe that. Everyone was invited. I'm sure I wasn't. Anyway, I was busy yesterday. Ah! Did you have a meeting with some clients? No, I didn't. So, what? Where were you? I was with Robert at the Red Lion Pub. That's impossible. Robert was at the party. Oops, I always get them mixed up. I was with Charles. Charles was at the party too. Come on, Jack. Who were you with? You're too curious, Alice. Okay, okay. I was with a girl. Ooh, ooh, and? And what? Well, what's her name? Do we know her? How old is she? Stop, Alice, stop. It's none of your business. Okay, okay. You don't want to tell us, hmm? That's okay. I like a mystery. It makes life exciting. Well, let's change the subject. Peter, where were you yesterday evening? Why weren't you at the party? I was at the theater. We're preparing a performance. And you, Sharon? Where were you? Me? Where were you? Um, I was at home watching a film on TV. Which one? Um, the latest film starring Nicole Kidman. What's the name? Yes. Moulin Rouge. Really? That's strange. I remember... Here, look. It's on TV today. Really? Oh. They always show the same stuff on TV. Oh, don't get up. I'll get the door. Daily Conversations. Talk about your vacation. There's a postcard for you, Alice. For me? Oh, it's from my father. He was in the Bahamas last week. Really? I was in the Bahamas last summer. Just you? Oops. Sorry, Sharon. We were in the Bahamas last summer.
It was sunny and hot. The perfect weather for swimming and relaxing. It was fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. I'm sure it was. I prefer holidays in the winter. It's too hot in the summer. I'm like going to the mountains and skiing. My last holiday was two years ago. Two years ago? Yes, it was a long time ago. I need another holiday soon. Anyway, was your father on holiday in the Bahamas, Alice? No, he wasn't. He's working on a new play there. Roy Clark, oh, how fascinating must right it be to you, be a director? Fame, money, and a lot of traveling around the world? And no time for family. Just a few calls, postcards, and a lot of misunderstandings. Why don't you call him now? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? When was your last call? Three weeks ago. That's a long time. Come on, Alice. Call him. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear from you. Well, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll call him. Thanks, Jack. For your advice, I mean. Yes, that's exactly what I told him. I sent him an email asking for more information. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't have enough time today. Okay. Okay. I'll call him in ten minutes. Bye. Hi, Jack. Hi, Anne. So, did you have a good day? No, I didn't. It was a horrible day, Anne. I had a lot of work to do. First, I met some clients in the city. We met at nine o'clock and finished at two. After that, I checked the monthly loss and profit accounts twice. And then I wrote some letters. I'm so tired. Well, now relax. Have a glass of wine. You're lucky. I'm cooking lasagna, your favorite dish. No, thanks, Anne. I ate lasagna at lunch. Oh, but it's not a problem. I'll prepare something else. And after dinner, we can watch Wimbledon on TV. There is a men's singles match. It should be exciting. I'm sorry, Anne. I... I can't. I have some work to finish. And then I'm going to my karate gym. That's how I relax. Hey, Jack. Just a moment. Didn't you notice anything? Did you clean the kitchen? No, I didn't. Oh! Did you receive your marvelous set of Chinese plates? No, Jack. Nothing about the house. It's about me. Oh, I see. 
You bought a new pair of shoes, didn't you? They're very nice. Well, I have to go now. It's late. It doesn't matter. Go. Bye. Such a waste of time. Hey, Anne. Thanks a lot for the tip on the bookshop. Oh my God, Anne! What's happening here? Makeup? Let me see. A new hairstyle? A new dress? You look great. At last, somebody noticed my change. It's impossible not to notice. Thanks. Well, what were you talking about? Oh, I wanted to thank you for the tip on the bookshop. It's a great shop. Great! I'm glad you liked it. I love sitting and drinking a cup of coffee and looking at books. Yes, that's exactly what I did. I sat down, ordered a cup of coffee, and read. And I found all the books I wanted. What books did you buy? I bought a biography about Virginia Woolf, and a book about archaeology. And you, what are you doing? I'm trying not to think about all my problems. So, I'm looking at some pictures. Can I see them? Sure. They're pictures of us. Oh, look! Look at this one. We're in Edinburgh. We went on a trip. Do you remember? Yes, I do. How funny Alice was in that Scottish hat. Did we go by car? Oh, no, we didn't. We went by train. And at the very last moment, Peter didn't come because of the audition. Yes, as usual. And who is this? I don't know him. Oh, that's Frank, a friend of mine. I met him on holiday in Norway. We had a good time together. And? Afterward, he went his way and I went my way. Yeah, that's life. Did you have an affair with him? No, no, I didn't. Nothing like that. We were only good friends. Do you keep in touch? No, we don't. He wrote me a letter five years ago. He sent me an invitation to his wedding. Did you go? No, I didn't. Well, unfortunately, I had a lot of work. And I couldn't get away. Hey, but this is Jack. How smart he looks in this picture. Yes, he does. Do you mind, Anne, if I keep this picture with me? I... I do mind. No way. I'm sorry, Sharon, but no. Why not? What do you care about it? And you? What do you care about it? Hey, girls. What's happening here? Nothing at all. Talk about Peter's performance. How does the scarf suit me, Anne? Oh, very well. You look fine. Really? I'm not sure. 
Look, maybe this one looks better. Don't panic, Peter. Everything is going to be all right tonight. I don't know. Actually, I have a sore throat. I'll sing badly tonight, I'm sure. Come on, Peter. You will sing very well. You are a professional singer. Don't forget it. Well, I'm going to have some tea. Would you like some? Thank you, Anne. I would really like a cup of tea. If it's not too much trouble. No, not at all. I'll just add some water to the pot. A cup of tea and my chocolate cake will keep your mind off the musical. For five minutes, at least. Shall I give you a hand? Uh, yes, thanks. Here is the cake. Oops! Oh, Peter! Okay, listen. I know you are nervous, but try to be careful, please. I'm sorry, Anne. How do you think the musical will go? I think it will go very well. Greece is considered a classic musical. It's successful, entertaining. There will be loads of people clapping. Do you really think so? Sure I do. Hey, Peter, what time does the show start? At nine o'clock. How are we going to get to the theater? I'm going to drive. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? Because parking there is almost impossible. Okay, we'll take the tube. That's a much better idea. When shall we leave? Around 8.30? No, that's too late. Okay, we'll leave earlier. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anne. Peter, you're hopeless. Okay, okay, listen. I think you need to relax a bit. Why don't you go and take a nap? I can't sleep. I'm too nervous. Okay, why don't you rehearse your part again? I can't. I can't remember anything. Okay, okay. Go wherever you want. Just please leave me alone. Please. Hi, Anne. Hi, Peter. I'm starving. Is there anything to eat? How can you think about the food at a time like this? Why? What's the matter? What's the matter? The performance is tonight! Come on, Peter, don't panic. Everything is going to be all right tonight. Don't worry. Why does everyone tell me the same stupid things? Because it's the truth. Look, Peter, take this lucky charm. I bought it in Portobello Market this morning. I'll give it to you as a lucky mascot. Remember, you have to kiss it three times and then keep it in the right pocket of your jacket. Why just the right pocket? Well, I don't know. The woman who gave it to me said this is what you have to do. Anyway, I'm sure it will bring you luck. Mm, I'm not so sure. Why not? Shall we bet on it? All right. Sounds like fun. How much? Oh, let's make it interesting. If it brings you luck, you'll take me to dinner at Bluebird. Bluebird? 
Are you crazy? That's London's most expensive restaurant. I know, I know. But the musical is important to you, Peter, isn't it? All right, Alice. What will you do if it doesn't bring me luck? Well, I will cook dinner for a month. But you can't cook. Ah, uh -uh, Peter. That's why I said it. This way, I'm sure you will make it bring you luck. Well, guys, why don't we go to the cinema tonight? That's a great idea. What's on? Well, there's this new film with Schwarzenegger. That should be good. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. What would you suggest? How about going to the disco? The disco? Are you crazy, Alice? That's not even music. That's simply noise. Come on, Peter. It's Saturday night. We have to do something special. Something exciting. And going dancing is surely more exciting than going to the cinema. I agree with Alice. Let's go dancing. What about a third choice? I guess Anne is right. Why don't we try to find a good compromise? Come on, guys. How boring and old-fashioned are you? And you are more frivolous than I am, Alice. Come on, guys. Don't argue now, please. Let's vote on it. Well, Alice and I want to go dancing. Peter and Anne don't. How about you, Sharon? I don't know. Well, the disco is probably more entertaining than the cinema. Great! Okay, guys. Three against two. Let's go dancing. Here's my party hat. How do you like it? You look great. I envy you. The hat really suits you. Well, I envy your room, Anne. But with all this traffic, how do you sleep? Oh, I'm used to it. Which disco are we going to? Paradise. It's a new disco on King's Road. It's very nice. Did Tom and you go there together? Yes, we went last Saturday. We spent a nice night together. Maybe I asked the wrong question. You don't like Tom, do you? He's boring. Very boring. Besides, he's an Aries. And he talks too much. Last night, for example. He showed me all the pictures of his holiday in the Alps. He talked for an hour about the mountains. But I hate the mountains. Why do you say that? The mountains are beautiful and spectacular. I prefer the beach. It's more relaxing and entertaining. Oh, I don't know. I think the beach is more boring than in the mountains. Why do you say that? Well, think about it. Lying on the beach every day? It's much more interesting to be walking in the countryside. Yes, but... It's usually colder in the mountains. I think the beach is also more romantic. 
Girls, stop talking nonsense. How do I look? You look very pretty, Alice. Thanks, Sharon, but you look better than me. No, how can you say that? You are much more tanned than I am. Yes, but you are in better shape. And me? How do I look? You are very pretty too, Anne. I'm sure I'm not nearly as beautiful as you. Come on, guys. Stop making stupid comparisons. Let's just say that we are all different. Hey, girls. Okay, are you ready? I need your advice. Which shirt is better, according to you? The red one. It's much better than the blue one for a disco night. And you, Sharon? What do you think? Well, I think the red one is funnier, while the blue one is more professional. I prefer the blue one. So, girls, which shirt should I put on? I told you, the red one. With that one on? You'll look more macho. Yes, macho, that's the right word. Really? Macho? I like it. Okay, I'll put on the red shirt. Do you agree with Alice, Sharon? About being macho, I mean. Come on, Jack. It's late. The disco is waiting for us. Talk about the best soccer team. Hey, Peter. Did you see the match yesterday evening? Which match? Which match? Ajax versus Juventus. Those teams are boring. Excuse me? Excuse me? Ajax is the best football club in the world. I'm afraid I don't have a clue. I know that only music matters. Anyway, in your opinion, which is the best team? I don't know. I heard Arsenal is the best of all time. They've got the most aggressive players. The most important coach, the toughest goalkeeper. Peter, Peter, you are so mistaken. Okay, what's so great about Ajax? First of all, their defense is superb. It's much more intelligent than Arsenal's. Still. No, but you promised me. You're always busy. No, I don't want to go anymore. Anyway, thanks, Daddy. Thanks for your present. You are the worst father in the world. Don't worry, I'm going to have a great party all the same. Yes, with my friends. They do love me. Bye. Is everything okay, Alice? No, nothing is okay. My father keeps on being the same. Come on, Alice. Don't cry, please. Tell us what happened. Well, you know, I told you. My father decided to give me a trip for my birthday. Well, he promised to come with me. And just now, he told me that he can't anymore. Because he has some important work to do. 
as usual. Don't be angry with him. Even if he has something important to do, you can leave for your trip anyway. No, I don't want to go anymore. Well, don't worry, Alice. We are going to give a big party for you. Isn't that true, Guy? Absolutely. Of course. You are the most brilliant, the smartest, and the funniest roommate we've ever had. Even if sometimes you are a bit lazy, you need a special party. Thanks a lot. You are the best friends in the world. The musical was great, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Peter was excellent. Well, now let's think about the party. It's time for fun. Uh. By the way, who is coming to the party tomorrow? Well, David will be here. Mary, Paul, and Tom will be here as well. Everyone will be here. I wonder if Jack will be here. Jack, why? He's leaving on a business trip tomorrow morning. He doesn't know exactly when he'll be back. Hey, girls, what are you talking about? Anne was telling me that you won't be coming to the party this evening. It isn't true, is it? Yes, it is. I'm afraid I can't. Business before pleasure. You never will change, will you? Excuse me. Hello. Oh, hi. I don't really have a choice. Listen, Jack. I was wondering if you really have to go away on business, or if you're not coming to Peter's parties for some other reason. No, Sharon. I. I do have a business engagement. Anyway, since you asked, I'll tell you. There's more. I'm jealous of Peter. Oh, come on, Jack. You only care about business. Sure, that's what they all say. But you know, I. I'm interested in you. And, Sharon, are you, are you really interested in me? Hmm. <gasps> Anne, who were you talking to on the telephone? Mary. She wanted to know what time the party is going to start. I think it'll start at about nine o'clock, won't it? Well, girls, I have to go finish my presentation. See you later. Bye. Back to work. You'll never quit, will you? What a shame that Jack isn't coming. He's a very interesting person. I wonder if you are falling in love with him. Come on, you can tell me. Okay, but don't tell anyone. Uh huh. Yes. He's quite handsome. Do you think he likes me, Sharon? What a question! It's none of my business. Don't be so difficult, Sharon. I was just asking confidentially, 
your opinion. You are my friend, Sharon. I'm sorry, Anne. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm just a bit nervous these days. Why? Because of Peter. We're having some problems. I'm sorry, Anne, but I don't want to talk about that. I've got to go. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, Jack, you're always so messy. You leave your things everywhere. But what's this in the pocket? <gasps> what? It's Jack and Sharon? And he's kissing her? Oh my god! Now I understand everything. <laughs> It's a shame Jack isn't here, isn't it? Yes. It's just not the same without him, is it? Well, business is business, you know. Well, Anne, I wonder what wonderful food you cooked for us this evening. Anne? Hello? Are you there? Oh. Sorry, Peter. I was miles away. What did you say? What did you cook for us? Oh, your favorite fish and chips. Oh, what would I do without you? Hey, what about me? I brought the beer. Yes, we are glad you did. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers to Peter's success. Well, guys, this is the right time for an important announcement. Last night, there was a famous director at the theater. We met after the show, and he told me he was preparing a musical to be performed all over Japan. So he wants to see me for an audition next week. Cheers! You'll be famous soon, Peter. Surprise! <gasps> Jack! Jack! Well, well, well. Not so dedicated to your work, are you? Peter, get me a beer. Now you're talking. Hi, Anne. Is everything okay? Yes? No, Jack. Everything is fine. It was just really a surprise for me. Daily Conversations Talk about the countryside and the city. Hi, Sharon. What's up? Hi, Jack. I'm okay. Don't worry, everything is just fine. Really? I don't think so. Come on, tell me what's happening. Some problems with Peter? No. Well, yes. But I don't think you're the right person to talk with. Maybe you're right. But I can't stand seeing you so sad. And this? What does this mean? Don't worry, I'm not leaving forever. My colleague Lucy invited me to spend the weekend at her house. She has a cottage in the countryside, near Brighton. We're leaving in the evening, right after work. 
The countryside is so lovely there. I hope so. I need a break. Living with Peter is getting hard. He is so nervous about his concert. He can only think and talk about that. He seems miles away. And as for his music, he's excessive. He goes on singing all day long. He doesn't speak with me anymore. He sings with me. Sharon, can you pass me the salt, please? <laughs> I like it when you smile. I think a weekend in the countryside is exactly what you need. I didn't know you liked the country so much. Are you joking? I love the countryside. It's so quiet and relaxing. A lot of people think it's boring. Well, they don't know what they are missing. What, Jack? Are you using cliches now? Like, the countryside is safe and the city is dangerous? Or the country is clean and the city is dirty? And don't forget the country is cheap, too. Yes, there's that, too. The city is very expensive. Just think how much the rent is for this apartment. Don't remind me. I have to pay mine tomorrow morning. Well, Jack, it was good talking with you. You make me laugh. Sometimes I think about us and how we were together once. We were... We are a wonderful couple. Don't forget it. All right. Oh, hi, Jack. Do you have a moment? I always have time for you, Anne. Can I ask you a question? Sure. How can I help you? Well, I need your advice. I want to buy a new car. Ah, you should buy a fast, expensive sports car. Come on, I can't afford a sports car. My car's old, it's too big, and it's difficult to drive. Very good reasons to buy a new car. Yes. I like to buy a small, stylish car that's not too expensive. Hmm, a small, stylish car that's not too expensive. And for young people. Of course, you shouldn't buy a car for old people. So, what car should I buy? I don't understand anything about cars. Well, what about buying a Ferrari? Are you joking? <laughs> Just kidding. Let me think. Oh, oh, can I have a look? How about this car? It's nice. Isn't it expensive? All cars are expensive these days. By the way, did you hear about Sharon? Yes, I met Peter in the afternoon. He told me they quarreled. But I don't think we should worry about it. Do you? Hmm, maybe we should. What do you think of Sharon, Anne? She's very pretty. Yes, she is. Uh, what about me, Jack? Do you think I'm good looking? Come on, Anne. You are very attractive. Do you really think so? Yes, Anne. You are always on my mind. What are you doing, Anne? My boss asked me to book two rooms for two of our most demanding clients. 
They would like a quiet hotel near our publishing house. And of course, with this creature comforts. So I'm making a few telephone calls. Man, listen to this song for a moment. It's Ray Charles' last recording. It's fantastic. I've got a lot to do, Sharon. Just for one minute, Anne. Come on. I'm afraid I can't now. Why don't you go over to Alice's? She's having a shower, you know. When Alice gets in the bathroom, she takes at least two hours. Well, do whatever you want. Just please get out of this room. Anne, what's the matter today? Why are you treating me so badly? That's enough, Sharon. I know everything about it. Everything about what? That you've got a lover. A lover? Are you going crazy, Anne? Oh, don't try and pretend with me, Sharon. And I call you a friend. But it's the truth. And who is my romantic lover, by the way? You know, I'm talking about Jack. Jack, what are you talking about? The photograph, the one that you and Jack are kissing. It's not what you think, Anne. Ha! <laughs> so then you tell me. You know, a picture says more than a thousand words. That photo is from three years ago. We were engaged. Oh, what? You and Jack were engaged? I know, I know. I wanted to avoid stupid gossip. And also because of Peter. So now you're telling me? Well, I can't believe it. I know. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. See? Now you're angry with me. That's why. Well, you're right, Sharon. I am mad at you. And now I look like a fool. I'm sorry, Anne. Really. <coughs> oh, my hair. What's going on? It's Alice. <coughs> oh my god. Come on, let's go see what's happening. What's happening? Alice, why are you screaming? My hair, look! It, it's, it looks, your hair is green. I know. But how? Okay, imagine this. I'm washing my hair. Well, coloring my hair, actually. I want to change my look. My mobile rings. It's Tom. He's telling me all about this great party yesterday evening. I'm listening to his story, and I don't realize that time flies. More than an hour! It's always the same old story, Alice. Anyway, green suits you. It looks... It looks very original, very unique. Just like you. Well, Alice, don't be offended, but you look like a frog. Thanks, Anne. That's the nicest compliment. What shall I do? Well, why don't you call a hairdresser and make an appointment? And in the future, try to avoid changing your look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.